Mama said we are moving away. Welcome back to Nine's Studio. Today is the day two of packing in preparation for our big move, which is only 63 days away. We continue to pack the living room, and now it's turn for our motorcycle collection to meet the boxes. What you see here is just one millionth of what we have. If you like it, please subscribe. If one was to describe the decor of our house, they will use two words only, cats and motorcycles, and will be bang on on it. I collect anything to do with cats, and my better half has spent years and years collecting toy motorcycles. Our relatives, half of them, they don't even like cats, they recognize my passion for them, and so those two is Johnny and I, gifts that were given to us over two different Christmases. But here is a story. One day I was talking on the phone and I had nine on my arms and I was standing close to this motorcycle rack. I realized that nine was really interested in something. So I paid closer attention and this is what I discovered. Out of all those bikes you see on display here, this one, the broken toy that we keep, well, John keeps for whatever reasons, was the subject of his extreme attention and affection, which is a good thing, because the red arrow is pointing at some rare bike that I'll tell you about later in this video. In fact, today, ironically, we saw uh, the same bike on TV in the American Pickers show, and apparently that antique little toy is worth a lot of money. Any time you can bring Nine at different angle, he will always go for his favorite bike. He will always choose just that one and carefully hockey it around the other bikes to just get hold of it. I don't know, wait, does it remind him of a mouse or what does it do to him? But he always goes for that particular broken little bike that really has, uh, well, next to none value. And here is back to the collectible little toy I told you about. On American Pickers today, we saw the same bike, which was even in the worse condition than this one. And apparently the value of this bike is over 270 American dollars. Johnny said he bought that thing for $60. Glad he wasn't really close by to me when he said that. Can you imagine how much cat litter we can buy on that money? So this concludes the day two of packing. Again, nothing is done. Again, lots of fun. And we actually discovered that there is something very valuable in that extended collection of things that I have to dust more often than I would like to. Maybe one day I'll sneak out on John and I'll sell that bike. I really would like a new computer. Ah, no. I would never do it to him. I love him too much. I'll just get by with what I have. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.